Hello and welcome to Leadamorphosis. My guest this week is Meg Lightheart. It's something I've been thinking about and talking about with friends that um, we tend to approach diversity, equity, inclusion, justice work, or businesses tend to approach it in terms of the bottom line and um, diversity of thought and um, or even, oh, because we should do it because mm. it's the right thing, which I think is maybe a slightly better <laughs> um, motive. But the thing that you don't know when you live in a reasonably monocultural uh, environment is how amazing it is when you have an environment that's really inclusive and you have people of colour and queer people and trans people and disabled people able to be themselves, like we bring, uh, I say we, so as someone who has some marginalised identities and some dominant identities, um, the environment is amazing. There's some magic which is just missing from like dry toast organisations sometimes. And, um, so, and that's really difficult to convey because the work to get there is... Um, if you're really going to do it, it's super emotional. <laughs> and uh, I was talking, so I do some, I do this work uh, generally with my friend Soraya Aisha, who's my business partner in it. Uh, we, we run a, at the moment, we kind of, it just exists as a hashtag, tick box, T I K B O X. Um, but um, we started off doing anti racism work with white people um, in, in our lounge. Um, so we invited some people around and we were experimenting with things. And we're, um, we were talking the other day about how we are really, you, you move from ignorance, so literally not knowing or not caring, through to um, uh, shoulds and shouldn'ts. 101 should use this language shouldn't use that language um and then that that's better than ignorance um so at least an organization people in an organization are being respectful but in order to become someone who people with marginalized identities can relax around and bring the magic that they have um you need to go through a whole range of emotional work where you unpick the internalized programming that you have.